Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Silent Hill 3. You are here with Morris at the end of the last part. We had just defeated a lesser, or the memory of a lesser, rather. Um, and now we got to read this Da Vinci Code shit, which is on the floor, so let's see. Yeah, just, just wipe it all over my hands. It will be better for myself to die, after all. It's nothing to be afraid of. That child, that demon, when I think of the endless pain it will bring when it is birthed, I decided that instead of the suffering and cruelty I endured in that sick room, that I would like to bestow a more gentle and peaceful death on myself. Why do I resist? I never thought of myself as such a fool. Alessa. I guess it's kind of strange for me to call you that, since you are me. But you know what? You and I don't think alike after all. And it's not that I don't remember that sick room either. You know what I don't remember is how to get out of here. You know, I didn't go on a lot of carousels as a kid, but when I did, I always wanted to go on the outside horses. Because, technically, you get more for your money. Because you're on the outside, so technically you're going around a lot more, you know? Plus, it kind of always felt like maybe you were going to fly off the end. Which, you know, added that extra thrill just in there, just on the side. Or maybe it was the ones that I went on. I don't know, because that doesn't sound safe now I say it out loud. Anyway, let's go in this sewer hole. And see what we can see. And surprise, surprise, I don't have a map of this area. That was a pretty tough fight. That was, wow, this is strangely clean compared to what I just came out of. But yeah, that doesn't bode well for the future. Stained by the evils of this world, we hold our sorrows within us. Only you can heal us these wounds. That doesn't make too much sense. Each morning, afternoon, evening, and night. God, is this my intro? We call out your name and pray for the day of the miraculous descent. This is what I should say at the beginning of, of every episode. <laughs> ah. There's more. This is amazing handwriting, given that they obviously wrote this in blood, you know? I give to you unreservedly my body and my eternal soul. Whatever darkness may befall me, I will endure with you beside me. God, which is a life story. As proof of your miraculous power, guide our obedient and willing souls to the road of paradise, O Lord. We will not give in to the power of temptation as long as we have you in our hearts. Other than the temptation to write with blood on the wall. O Lord, save us with your compassion. O Lord, shower us with your blessings. O Lord, favor us with your abundance. Of trench coats. Nothing in there. Not sure what that's for. Ah, staircase up. This is so not like Silent Hill. <laughs> uh, what is on here? <clears throat> there's something written on the door. This door is the gate which leads to the road to paradise. Wow, there's just you actually just go through a door to get there. It's not like a metaphorical afterlife. It's literally the offices of road to paradise here. Embrace the bosom of the Holy Mother. Behave yourself. Admit your sins and be forgiven. Eternal tranquility can be yours. And does this open? It does. Okay. <laughs> and how much to get in? This feels like a cutscene. Yeah, my PS2 was kind of like... Ah, gotta load this cutscene. So you can always tell with old games. <laughs> How did you get here? I came in the front. It was Vincent, wasn't it? He led you here. When will he cease his meddling? But it's just as well. Luring you here also serves my purposes. Checkmate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that line is so inappropriate. I'll have what she's having. The time when all will be forgiven their sins. When the paradise we have long dreamed for will arrive. After the judgment and atonement, an eternity of bliss. Oh, Alessa, the world you wanted is nearly here. That's not what I want. Not you. 
A lesser. Your true self. But I am a lesser. My little Claudia, my dear sweet sister. A lesser? Is it you? Oh, she's playing it. Oh, I've missed you. She's good. I don't need another world. It's fine the way it is. But you said it yourself. The world must first be cleansed with fire. But that's well, I was I drunk or something, so that's why I said that. <laughs> Don't you want happiness? Have you become blind to all the hopeless suffering in the world? We need, we all need God's salvation. Listen, suffering is a fact of life. Either you learn how to deal with that or you go under. You can stay in your own little dream world, but you can't keep hurting other people. Oh, my control is going nuts. Besides, I'll never forgive you for hurting my father. I wish only for the salvation of mankind. But for that to happen, the world must first be remade. And for that, we need God. You self-righteous witch! No one asked you to help! It's growing within you. You despise me, don't you? A little bit. right, I do! That's good. Sorry if you can hear this vibration. I don't know how. <laughs> I don't know if the mic's picking that up or not. Vibration appropriate to what is apparently a stomach ache. Okay. So again, calling back to Silent Hill 1 a little bit by meeting uh, what is essentially the antagonist inside a, a church. Again, it's just one of those things where it's like, eh, it's kind of been done. There's nothing I can do with the organ. I don't know how to play anyway. No Moonlight Sonata for us tonight. Alright, let's save our game. Alright, the, uh, the precious, precious souvenir shop save is gone. Alright, so what is this? And again, they've left a key item on the altar. I got a I got an Eye of the Night tarot card or tarot card, depending on how fancy you want to be. So let's follow this person, shall we? I think they might know a bit about what's going on. By the way, that cutscene super important. So remember everything that was happening. Especially God is growing inside you. Remember that line. All right, what else have we got? Long, dark corridors. That's good. It's a good sign. What is this? Is this a map? Because it really does not look like it. <laughs> oh, it is a map, kind of. Yeah, I got a church map. It's super useful. It's got a bunny on it. Which is kind of appropriate. I have the feeling that there's someone on the other side of this door. But the door is shut tight and I can't open it no matter how hard I try. So I'm not even going to try again. Almost forgot about the old torch there. Holy shit. Alright, let's look at the map. Okay, this is... Alright. This is not a... Hang on, there was another door back here. A map is a map, you know? You gotta take it. That's how we... This is how we used to do it in the old days. I mean, I never used to draw houses and things next to it, but... I, I, I like to think that everybody out there has at some stage made their own map. Perhaps I'm wrong, I don't know. These are the cult scriptures. They don't look worth reading. Confess your sins, my son. Daughter. Somebody, please. Dear God, please forgive me. God, I can't, I can't even hear that. I know. I'll oh, now I can. I'll go to my death gladly and with a peaceful heart. <laughs> but please, 
Grant me just a small piece of your everlasting mercy. Let me see my child once within your golden gates. Deliver me not to hell, but to purgatory. Allow me to atone for my sins there. I'll stand within the very flames of redemption, no matter how they burn me. Forgive me for my wicked act of revenge. And deliver the soul of my poor murdered daughter. Please, also care for the soul of the girl whose life I have taken. Well, I can't say I'm not a priest now, because it's just to be God. awkward. You know, she's gone too I far into it. Child, trembling with fear as I stare at death. Soothe my tortured soul with your infinite mercy. Please. Forgive me. Oh god, choices. What will you do? Say I forgive you, don't say anything. You know what? It is not my place. Don't say anything. Look at this fucking James Gandolfini ass priest up here. Who can this be? Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's nothing more to be said. Hey, it ain't that I don't forgive you, but who am I to give you forgiveness? Alright, let's go. God, I'm a hard ass in my old age. <laughs> Alright, so we got a couple of doors here. That's all good. What well, that is some fucked up shit right there. I don't even want to know. What do we got in here? This isn't even part of the map. It's just the map ends as soon as you leave. Hello, madam. Good lord. So what do we got? Anything in here? These enemies are great, because you just don't need to fight any of them. I don't think I've killed one, other than the first one, right at the start of the game. Oh, I'm here. Is this a person? Not quite, maybe. But I don't feel like pulling back the sheets to see. Okay, um, this kind of feels like progress, so I'm just going to check that other door. Because I'm infuriating like that. I must know. It's locked. Okay. Oh, what is this? Alright, it, it must just need a key if the if I'm not being shown a code panel or something. It must just need a key. Uh sorry about this weird camera movement. Like I don't I don't trust the game to put the camera in the right place, so I'm constantly hitting L2 so I can look around. Huzzah! Dang it. Oh my lord. Oh I'm draw I'm actually drawing the map as I go along. <laughs> uh, that's cool. And there's also another one, and I can't fight them because, fuck, they're insanely powerful. So they are called Insane Cancers, by the way. I didn't really, I don't think I got the name just right, or I couldn't quite, wow, that looks great! That looks awesome, that camera. But yeah, I don't think I got the name quite spot on last time, or I couldn't quite recall it. Uh, but yes, they are called Insane Cancers. The shelves are covered with file folders and boring books. There's no useful information here, as far as I can tell. And it's important, it's worth noting the insane cancer as an enemy. If you think about what cancer is, this kind of... Let's just call it an unwanted growth. Let's call it that. I got a cassette tape. Excellent. And if you link the idea of an unwanted growth to the idea of... God is growing inside you. Let's just let's just start linking the old jigsaw pieces up, shall we? Just mentally. Just put that in the back of your mind. You don't have to think about it that much, but just just store them together somewhere. There are a bunch of papers in this file. I get the feeling that it's a handwritten copy of some book. Represents the deity known as the Halo of the Sun. In heraldry symbolizes a religious group. The two outer circles are charity and resurrection. The three inner circles are present, past, and future. Usually drawn in red, 
Occasionally drawn in black or other colours, but blue reverses the meaning into a curse on God and is therefore forbidden. So that is the save point. <laughs> Which is very cool when save points are given some kind of alternate meaning. Or at least greater meaning. Wow, that shadow looks awesome. Alright, I think that's it for this, uh, for this room. Ah! Don't come near me. That corridor is going to be a lot tougher when I go back through it. <laughs> so hopefully, there's a key in here. What the fuck is that noise? Ew. Is that... Oh god, it's one of those where it always feels like it's behind you. There's a picture here of an angel flying into the heavens. Nothing special. Really? There's nothing special? There's a wheelchair here. Just a plain old wheelchair. Just the one door this time. Whoa! Ah, uh, is that a save point? Or is this... Uh, is this something else going on in this room? <laughs> I feel like I don't want to walk into the center lest this whole thing just kill me in some elaborate manner. Saint Jennifer, unwavering faith under death's blade. Saint Alessa, mother of God, daughter of God. This picture. That's me. I'm holding the baby. And, and I'm the baby being held. The me that wanted death and disappeared with God 17 years ago. And the me here and now that sought life. It's like they knew. Saint Nicholas. Miraculous hands, a doctor of God. The circle means reincarnation. That's what it said on that paper back there. So death isn't the end. <laughs> Pretty good deal if you ask me. Thanks to reincarnation, I died as a lesser, but I'm still living as myself. But you know, just the thought of it is starting to turn my stomach. And it is a save point, that's amazing. Uh, alrighty, well actually I think I am going to pause it for now guys. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode of Silent Hill 3. As you can see, the last few episodes, although it might not have seemed like massive things were happening, we are getting to the stage of the game where... The story is, believe it or not, coming together. Um, where the hell is the way out? Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of what would come next. You know what? I guess we'll just head back through and see what happens. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, think about what's been kind of happening, especially in this episode. Um, and if you've not played this, then by all means, draw up your own theories of what this game is all about. And if you have played it, then by all means, spoil it for everyone. I don't mind because I already know what happens. Um, but yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next episode. See you later.